Hi, this is Dan Barron, Technical Agronomist for United Suppliers. Well, every year, one of the most difficult scenarios that we're faced with is controlling resistant weeds, things like water hemp, and uh, resistant mare's tail as an early postseason application in soybeans. And it seems to happen every year that we get areas with incomplete burn down or where the soil residuals didn't get put out or activated. And so it certainly creates some real challenges when we look at the limited number of options that we have that provide effective control of resistant weeds as an early post-emergence application within soybeans. So what we're looking at here is a, a typical scenario. We've got dandelion that was partially controlled with the burn down. We have some mare's tail that was not controlled in the burn down application. And coupled with that, we're starting to see a variety of sizes of water hemp breaking through as well. So not an uncommon scenario that many acres are faced with every year when we go into the early postseason application season in soybeans. We generally recommend a PPO-based herbicide for glyphosate-resistant water hemp. And uh, what we're looking at here is a Flexstar plus glyphosate application. Uh, can be very good for water hemp control as long as best practices are followed. Generally, we're talking about making sure that we have good coverage, uh, smaller droplet size, pair it with the right adjuvant package like Succeed Ultra. And although it may not be the best on things like mare's tail or dandelion, you can see it's doing a pretty good job here as well as on the small water hemp. And, and weed size also is very important. As the soybeans as well as the weeds get larger, we continue to see maybe a more difficult scenario to get the best out of these PPO herbicides. You'll start to see some of the larger weeds maybe not completely burned down. Um, you'll notice the speckling on the soybeans as well. And uh, we really start to look at things like shadowing, not only from underneath the soybean canopy, but also from some of the larger weeds will protect uh, small germinating weeds underneath them as well. And so that's where you start to see some of the inconsistencies. Again, it's all really tied to trying to get these PPO herbicides out when the weeds are small and when you can get good coverage and control them before the weed size gets too large.